Bertha, lovely Bertha, you are a lovely machine. And anyone who works with you will know just what I mean. Whoa, Bertha, lovely Bertha, sometimes I think you're a dream. When we work out what you have to do, you can always turn the goods out, always turn the goods out. We can depend upon you. Clicking in the day, flashing in the night, your computer is shining brightly. Some people say you have a mind of your own, and I think that's very likely, likely. Oh, Bertha, lovely Bertha, sometimes I think you're a dream. When we work out what you have to do, you can always turn the goods out, always turn the goods out, we can depend upon you. Today, the sun is shining brightly, so at Spotted Wood & Company, it is very hot inside the factory, and everyone is working slowly because of the heat. Bertha is making plastic bears that have to be blown up like a balloon, and she's hot too. Plastic bears are so hot they are sticking to the bag. Ted, these bears are coming out very hot. Turn the air hose on them and cool them down. That's better. Blow some air over me now. Me? Oh, lovely. Phew, it's too hot to work, Ted. Send Tom to open the door wider and let some air in. Good idea. Tom, go and open the door wider. Silly Tom has gone and closed the door. Go and show him how it works, Roy. Let me show you. You see, Tom, you push this button to open the door and that button to close the door. Open. Shut. Open. See? Oh dear, I forgot to tell him to stop. Dad, don't stop him, the door's acting like a fan. Oh, that's a nice breeze. Much cooler. That's right, Tom. Keep doing that. I think Tom has closed the door on somebody. You better go and see what's happened, Roy. Oh, it's you, Panjit. And may I ask who it is that is playing the giddy goat with the door? Sorry, Panjit. We were using the door as a fan, and you came along at the wrong time. Goodness me, that is some big damage. I will have to mend that before I can move any more boxes. Come on, Tom. We'll leave the door open. Anyone like a nice cup of tea? It's too hot for tea, Mrs Tup. 
Nobody seems to want a cup of tea this morning. I'd rather have something cold to drink. I'd rather have an ice cream. That's a very good idea. I'll go and buy some. This bear is too big for the bag. This bear is too big for the box. The bears are getting bigger and bigger, Ted. That's funny. I'd better adjust the controls. Come on, Bertha. What's wrong? It's a really big one. I can't understand what's happening. <laughs> Roy, uh, go and get Mr. Sprott. What's gone wrong here? Why isn't Bertha working? The bears she's making are too big, Mr. Duncan. They won't go in the bag. They won't go in the box. You see, it's almost as big as you are. My word, that is a big bat. And they're getting bigger all the time. And they stand up by themselves. No, it's me, Mr Sprott. I'm holding it up. Ah, yes, I see. Sorry. Well, keep holding it up while I measure it. And, um, uh, 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 wide. My, uh, um, uh <coughs> tall. Thank you, Mr. Duncan. You can put it down now. I can't understand what's happening. I think that that bear is four times bigger than it ought to be. Yes, I know that, but what can I do about it? Uh, well, now, let me see. Oh, well, it is hot in here. Let's have a look at the control board. Ah, uh, now, what can we do here? Uh, what can we do here? Um, uh, uh -huh. just adjust this little thing here. And, uh, on that. Yeah, well, there we are. That's, uh, to have cured the problem. <laughs> My word, that is the hugest bear I've ever seen. What's got wrong, Mr. Sprott? Well, now, what is happening is this. These bears are being made out of plastic, and when plastic gets hot, it stretches. Today, because of the weather, Bertha is so hot that each bear she makes is being stretched bigger and bigger. This is why we have this enormous bear. What should we do with it, Mr. Sprott? Uh, uh, well, now, let me see. If it's all right and uh, there are no holes in it, we could send it along to the shopkeeper who is selling our balloon bear. He could blow it up and stand it outside his shop as an advertisement. <laughs> yes. That's a very good idea, Mr. Sprott. Uh, thank you, Mr. Duncan. Shall I blow it up to make sure there are no holes in it? Yes, do. It'll be most interesting to see how big it is. Catch it, Roy. Hold on to it, Roy. My word, that is a big one. Ices? Ices? Cornets? Chalk ices? Lollies? Good morning, Mrs. Tarp. 
You're looking very summery today. Good morning, Mr. Sprout. Anyone for an ice cream? Ooh, I'll have a nice lolly. Oh! Goodness! That is a big bear. Yes, it is. And it appears to be stuck on the ceiling. We'll need the big ladder to get it down. I'll send Tom to get the ladder. Tom, take this to Panjit. Off you go, Tom. Look what has happened to my forklift truck. I hope you come to say you're sorry. I accept your apology. Ted wants a long ladder. Hmm. You'll have to help me carry it. I'll uh, take this one back to the design office for Tracy. What shall we do with a bear when we get it down? Uh, let all the air out of it. Good! You brought the ladder. Help me to hold it steady, Fadgie, so that Roy could climb up. Whoa. Steady on there, Padgy. Yeah, yeah, that is steady now, Ted. Tell me, please, why are you going up the ladder? To capture the flying bear. Goodness, that is the biggest bear I've ever seen. It won't come down, Ted. Let all the air out of it, Roy. <laughs> oh, ho, ho, ho. that was close. Oh, 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 that was closer. What was that that went past my window, Miss McClackety? It looked like a flying bear, sir. A flying bear? Oh, what a wonderful invention. It's cooling down the whole factory. Oh, sir? Where's it gone, Miss McClackety? Whoa! Oh, my word. Me a bit, Padgy, that's it. I'm doing my best. Oh, oh, uh, 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 what are you doing down there, Ted? Oh, my, my ice cream. That was a wonderful idea, Ted. The factory is much cooler now. How did you think of it? I didn't, sir. Bertha made it. Mr. Sprott thought of pumping it up, and Roy let the air out. Well done, Mr. Spot. Well done, Roy. And well done, Bertha. <laughs> Lovely Bertha, sometimes I think you're a dream. When we work out what you have to do, you can always turn the goods out, always turn the goods out. We can depend upon you. <laughs>